Craig Jarrett for sending this story. The story just came out on the route yesterday. Um, white supremacist beat black man with poles in Charlottesville, Virginia parking garage. This story is prime example of why black people need to stay away from these rallies. Try to do whatever you need to do days before or whatever, or days after these rallies, if you have to be in that area. When these rallies are going on and these white supremacists are all gathered together, they're gonna feel emboldened. And they already hate you and chant this shit all out through the streets. What makes you think you're gonna go in those crowds and be safe on your own? Now, what happened to this man should not have happened if we were in a civilized country, but we're in this country, which we know since its inception has been very violent and the violence have not stopped all through the centuries. Okay, let's get into this story. All right, so as you can see in the pictures, he was beaten by white supremacists that had poles. An unidentified group of white supremacists in Charlottesville, Virginia, attacked and beat a black man with poles in a parking garage. The photo above, which was taken and posted to Twitter, by Zach D. Roberts, a writer and photographer with National uh, Nation of Change captured the violence that occurred during Saturday's Unite the Right white supremacist rally. As you will notice, there were no police around to help the man being attacked, although the victim hasn't been identified. The incident was one of many similar attacks on black people posted to social media. And as you can see, he is bleeding very badly from the head. You can see he has a laceration right here. Early Saturday afternoon, 20 year old, terrorist was arrested after plowing his car into a group of people, killing a 32-year-old woman. James Alex Field Jr. was charged with one count of second-degree murder, three counts of malicious wounding, and one count of failing to stop at an accident resulting in a death. The white supremacist rally has put a permanent stain on the city of Charlottesville. And even though many from the area didn't attend the anti-racism march, it's obvious that so many others didn't. And there were some twits, uh, tweets <laughs> out on what happened and it's a shame. You know, like I said, I feel for this brother but at the same token, our people are going to have to use our brains and not go near these events. Um, whether he went out there knowingly or not, I don't know. But in this suite, it, they were yelling as they were beating him with poles, die nigger, die nigger. I'll try to see if there's a follow-up to this story. Um, maybe somebody will interview this guy and find out exactly how he got cornered in a parking garage by these white supremacists. Please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. And if you can donate to my channel, please do. And I will leave the link to this article in the description box. Peace, family.